Hey everybody, Air Maddox here. How's everybody doing? I'm just sitting out here getting some vitamin D while I can. It's been kind of gloomy the last week or so. I have been enjoying um, smoking in my shed with the wood stove, but it's nice to get out and get some sun. And it's pretty warm, considering a little bit windy, but not too bad. So anyway, I was going to uh, do a quick review on a blend I have here, as well as do um, maybe ask you guys about a giveaway that I'm thinking of doing. So stay tuned for that at the end of the review. And today I'm going to be reviewing um, Sutliff's Cubed Cut, or Cubed Burley it's called. Um, this kind of, I found this out of nowhere and I thought, hmm, um, I really like Cubed Cut Burleys and I really like Peter Stokeby's Burley, so I was Cubed Cut Burley. So I was hoping this would be an alternative to that. So I picked it up and uh, it's, I, don't, I haven't seen any reviews on it, so I thought maybe it'd be a good idea to do one in case someone is wondering what it's like. They could check out my channel and uh, get an idea of what it's like. So it is a um, kind of a really thick uh, granola ready rub style of cut right here. They say it is a burly that's mixed with a little bit of Virginia Cavendish and cross cut, whatever that means. And I've got it packed in my homemade author pipe here, which used to have a kind of a copper colored band and now I have a silver band on it. I think I like the silver band a little bit better. Oh yeah, so in the pouch, what am I smelling? Uh huh. So I am smelling a nice fresh smell and um, kind of a woody cardboard smell and um, not as nutty as some of the other burleys uh, or ready rubs or as heavily topped. Um, some of the usual uh, ready rubs or cube cuts have kind of a heavy cocoa. This is more of a light cocoa or a white chocolate. Kind of reminds me a little bit of burly light without a bite by Lane. That kind of a smell. Now it's not heavily topped. It smells very natural. Probably less topped than a lot of ready rubs like Lane ready rubbed or those types. So it's not, don't worry about it being heavily aromatic or anything like that. If you like a ready rubbed, this won't be far off from that. So I got it packed in my pipe. See if I can get her lit up. Been smoking it for a little while now. I didn't really rub it out, so it's pretty thick. It needs a really good light to get going. I thought I would try smoking it um, fully, like intact, and then see how it goes, and then maybe rub it out later if I find that it smokes better that way. So the jury's still out on that. But yeah, so I'm getting um, a little bit of uh, cardboard taste, a little bit of a slight nuttiness, toned down than a lot of other burleys in its class. A little bit of cocoa and a little bit of that white chocolate as well. No bite. You can really puff hard on this one. Um, I can anyway. Um, sometimes when, um, if you puff a little bit faster, you'll get a little bit more of that walnut or cedar taste, which I like. No harshness. Really smooth. Yeah, uh, great, great overall burly. Something to look into. Um, I think it was three dollars and fifty cents for that one and a half ounce pouch, so a good price. And if you just can't get enough of the ready rubs or cube cuts, uh, definitely check it out. A little bit lighter than some of the other ones, but still enough flavor that I'm happy with it. So, whatever, <laughs> whatever that if that means anything to you, if that's of any value. So anyway, on to my possible giveaway. So um, I just thought it's been a long time, and I really appreciate all my viewers. And I thought I would do a, just a small giveaway. So what I was thinking of doing was maybe having a, some sample, a bunch of samples I could send out um, and you could, you could choose what you want. I have a, a wide seller. I was actually looking online the other day to see if I could find some more Stonehaven or some Penzance because I used to have a, a, a little bit of it and I used to give it away in samples, but now I'm pretty much down to nothing. And I'd still like to give away so, um, samples of those tobaccos to people out there that um, I've always wanted to try it but never could. So in my search for those uh, those blends, I came across one that I, for personally is even more important to me and I thought would be great. 
was I came across a 8 ounce tin of 2004 Autumn Evening. So I'm super stoked about getting that, which should be in soon. So that could be part of the giveaway as a sample of that. If anyone's interested in tasting a Red Virginia with some maple on it that's been aged for like over 15 years, that's one of my favorite aromatics. So I'd love to try that. So look out for a review on that as well soon. So yeah, that's basically what I was wanting to do is a bunch of samples uh, of different tobaccos and send them out uh, to the winners. And uh, so if you guys think that's interesting and you'd... Uh, You'd want to participate in that uh, if you think it's a good idea. I don't really have any pipes or anything right now worth giving away, um, but I thought some sample tobaccos. I have a lot of quite quite a wide uh, range of stuff. So if uh, if someone you know you just if you've seen one of my reviews and you're interested in something that I have, or if you just ask me if I have something, I could probably give you a sample of that if you win. So all right, I'm gonna continue smoking my tobacco and enjoying this beautiful sunny day. And I look forward to doing more videos and hearing from you guys. So leave some comments, uh, subscribe, hit that bell if you wanna be notified for more reviews. I'm always pumping out reviews and trying to do some popular blends, some rare blends. And if there's anything else you guys would like me to review or think that I might like, let me know. Till then, you guys take care. Aromatic, signing out.